somebody recently asked me what video editing software I use. Well, I use a program called, where is it? Caden Live. So once you've downloaded and installed it, you can get it for Linux, Windows, Apple. Uh, 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 yeah, you can get it for a lot of operating systems. So Caden Live. And this is the program I use. Right, well, first of all, what I tend to do is I always save the program after I've edited it. So once you've copied all the files over to a hard drive, um, I always, oh, wrong one, file open recent. So this is the previous video that I made. So I always copy over the previous video. So it loads up, here's the previous video. Right, so there's all my clips. And if it's in here, there it is there. All my previous clips. Right, scroll to the front. Right, so once you've opened the program and all the previous clips are in there, what you need to do is you need to delete these clips. So what I do is I drag this so it goes smallish. Then not deleting your audio. This is this is once you've done the program. Once you've uh, done, you know, done the uh, the, the video, uh, not deleting that one or that one, and if there's any other ones in there, um, yeah, 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 yeah. So, right click, uh, drag down, holding the shift key, and press delete on the keyboard. Continue. Right, so that's deleted all of those sort of uh, um, clips, but you've still got your um, little subscribe clips in there and the audio at the end. Now what we need to do is we need to get rid of these transitions. So you hold the shift key and drag your mouse over these little things and then just delete. Uh, again, hold the shift key, click the mouse, hold, drag over delete and you oh, hold the shift key delete that gets rid of those transitions so when you get your new clips you can then drag your new clips into the timeline okay so we'll go now to where I had the clips on previously so here we have the little subscribe thing and if I put the key over it and press play. Oh, it's a bit of a steep bit coming up. <laughs> Cycling one handed's a bit tricky. <laughs> right, so you get that's the sort of subscribe thing. Now, you'll need to uh, go onto uh, YouTube and download uh, a video of. Um, you, know, um, you just go into, onto YouTube and you put in green screen or chroma key and it will allow you to download a clip and then you've got to just edit it. I would edit it in this program, like crop it and then render it. So you've just got the individual clip. Right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of that, right? So I'm back. So once you've got it in your up here, you drag it to your timeline. And now you can see it's huge. Well, we need to crop that. So up here in alpha man manipulation, it says chroma key. Drag that down onto the clip, like so. And you see this little teardrop thing. Click that and click the teardrop where you've got the green. Now you can see around the edge there is a bit of green still there. So what you want to do is come over to this one where it says 150 and go for 160. Yeah, it's gone a bit. Try 170. If you go too far, this will start, th th these images will start to degrade. 180. Right, let's try that. 
the way. Oh, it's a bit of a steep bit coming up. <laughs> Cycling one-handed. You can still see there's a bit of green on there, but now if you shrink it up to the top corner, that might dissipate. So you want another program now called uh, Crop and Transform and Position and Zoom. Now you drag that down onto the clip and you get this sort of box thing appears. Right, drag one corner up, 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 to whatever size you want. I'm going to just drag it over to here, put it up there, like so. Now, if we play the clip, on the way. Oh, it's a bit of a steep bit coming up. <laughs> Cycling one-handed is a bit tricky. <laughs> See, it's nice and small now. So that's that's that clip done, right? But because I've saved the previous video, all I got to do is uh, copy, bring that back over, paste. So there it is already uh, done, right? So it's done. Now you get your videos. And you start off with where it says 52, 53, 54. So I'm on 52 and you drag it over, right? So say this has been dragged over. What you want to do next is, I'll just get rid of those. You drag this over to where, now this, um, because it's a bit, you can't really see what's going on there. You, this little slidey bar down, down here, you need to uh, slidey bar that out and come back over. Now you see there's a gap. See th these blue marks are the audio. See it? You can start the audio in audio in the clip. But there's a slight gap. What you want to do is you want to match up those slight gaps. And if you click in that bottom corner like that, you get a, a transition. So it'll blur now between the two clips. Oh, it's a crab. Oh, did that work? That's a bit small. Let's try that. Oh, it's a crab app. There we go. So it sort of it blurred between the two transitions. I think they call that. No, that's not uh, that's not working very well. So I'll drag that out. Right. Click again. Look, bottom right hand corner. Just click on it. It does a little dissolve transition. Oh, I forget what this stuff's called. There we go. You got. A, so you're, you're dragging each clip down to the timeline. Now, scroll along a bit. So if there's anything else I can show you. Let's make that a bit smaller. So there's another subscribe thing now there are editors on the internet um, fr fr Frumora is that one there's one called Frumora I think and that the one there are ones you can pay for but this is a free one this is free and obviously the right at the end here like I've got um, got my bit of audio with the track that comes out and you can fade in and out by dragging the corner. So you put your mouse up into the little corner, just drag it out, but and that, that's a fade. Likewise, or you can right click on the uh, the clip, audio clip, and in Add Effects, it says fade, fade in, fade out. So you know it's, it's it's easy enough, and there's probably loads of other things you can do, but what 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 would be best is if you if you want to do something like a transition. Um, there's loads of different uh, transitions and stuff, and all, all sorts of things. Rotate, transform, motion. Now see see what it says speed. 
so you can put the speed of a clip you can drag that down to speed that's what I tend to do so I, that's how I do the time lapse at the end of the video with the Sun going down so you drag that onto the uh, onto the clip so it says speed and you whack that number right up so if I put 2000 enter look see that clips now disappeared because the, the speed of it is like uh, massively speeded up you'll probably need to get rid of the audio just undo that that's just up here it says edit undo um, so yeah you need to get rid of the audio um, what I tend to do is just go for where is it it's here somewhere um, uh, audio correction that gain right, so you drag gain down onto the onto the clip and then you reduce that to zero and that gets rid of the audio likewise if you've got a clip where your, your voice is a bit quiet you can uh, move it up and down you know it, it increases the background noise a little bit and there are ways of getting rid of that background noise but that's uh, in audacity there's another program called audacity I think you can get that in Windows as well and you can reduce uh, background noise so yeah and I think that's probably about everything if you've got any questions uh, about it just uh, oh sorry and yeah when, when you're finished obviously you've done all the uh, the uh, the video up here where it says render now what I go for, I tend to go for mp4 um, there's depending on which version of uh, Caden Live you get because there's all different versions you know the Windows version might be diff slightly different to this version um, there you go mp4 and if you click on more options where it says encoder speed uh, if you reduce that to one it will take a long time for the video to render if you increase it to two it won't take so long three it will be even shorter but you'll start losing quality so I tend to have it on two and that you know and, and render it and then you upload it to uh, YouTube which is a different process entirely and, and I, I think quite complicated too because it seems to be getting more and more complicated with all these different restrictions that YouTube seem to be doing lately and it, this, this, this just number this this just helps with the uh, quality it says there that quality right so that's generally what I do if you've got any questions um, post it below and I will get back to you